Hi there, Joka here, and in this video I'm going to show you the projects that I've created with this Spabinders November Large Die Kit. So first of all, here is the die kit, just so that you see. They are quite big pieces, so um, quite easy to work with and doesn't need a whole lot of die cutting. I Lately, especially, I kind of like uh, that, you know, when I don't have to... Well, I do love die cutting, you know, but it gets frustrating sometimes. <laughs> so this was um, a nice uh, change for me. And um, you see that they are very specific. Um, uh, it's a very specific design, but you see that uh, later. Uh, I, I also have the 3D embossing folder kit. And this I just wanted to show you. It's uh, some random. <laughs> um, the, the new cutting plates. The pink is gorgeous on the side. It's like a neon color. And then there is a new trimmer. I think it's new. Uh, I just received it and it's pretty uh, similar to uh, the Fiskars that I already have, which I use only for um, actually to, to score card bases. And this is what I'm going to use this one for as well. Um, and I'm actually super happy with the the way this um, works. It's it's actually this one, uh, what, what are these called? Not the blades and the other one. Is the same concept as on the Fiskars uh, trimmers. You you um, exchange those blades the same way. Um, before you start using it, there is some foil here that you have to remove. And what surprised me, and I was really happy about it, is that it actually extends. This arm is um, 17 inches. Um, my Fiskars is only 12. So this was a, a great surprise. And then I uh, did try uh, cutting a piece and then also the, the fold. And why I'm not using this type of trimmers for um, trimming something is because on the back side, it's not going to be as flat as on the front. And for my card bases, I want uh, both sides to look the same. So that's why I'm using a guillotine. Um, in scrapbooking, it didn't matter, so I used that trimmer, actually, um, as long as I was scrapbooking. Um, I just wanted to explain that, but I'm going to use this for scoring my um, cards because it actually does a better job than my Fiskars. It doesn't leave um, these silver or gray markings um, on the paper, so and, and it really folds perfectly, so... Anyway, uh, long story short, moving on to putting together um, the flowers. I just wanted to show you how everything comes together, but they are very straightforward and uh, very simple. So you have this berry um, branch and it's always my favorite. Berries are my favorite. I don't know why. <laughs> so I actually die cut a few of them. And put them together. As you can see, the berry itself is, uh, you, you put that together from uh, two different cardstocks just so that you have uh, a more colorful um, design. Of course, you can use one if that's what you prefer. And then I'm also going to show you what I did with the, um, the vase. I created all these, well, I, I trimmed or cut these uh, paper strips from all the colors that I was using on my cards today, which might look similar, uh, not similar, familiar to you because they are exactly the same colors I used in my last video, I think. Um, I think it was my last video before this one. I still had the papers um, next to my desk. Normally I put stuff away right after I'm finished so that I can, you know, uh, start creating with the fresh, well, a fresh set of eyes and um, mind. But I don't know why I didn't put them away. So um, I still had them and then I was lazy and I just used the same. So I am creating uh, like a, a, a striped, design for my vases and they 
well, they are really like slim strips because they are not, I mean, the, the, the vase itself is not huge. So I wanted it to be colorful and I'm going to just use or do the same thing uh, on both cards because I'm creating two of the, well, two pretty much the same card. Um, and I'm also die cutting uh, the, the um, what are these sentiments? And I die cut them from um, white cardstock. I don't remember how many layers of white cardstock I used, I, probably two, and then also a color uh, layer. And then um, for my backgrounds, I'm using the uh, this month's 3D embossing folder. You can see it has this floral kind of design and I'm actually creating as an exception I would say A2 size cards because I believe that this um, well this die set was designed for that size um, they are very specific so I actually went with the design that it was uh, intended to, to be, I think, because you can see that the flowers are um, kind of flat on, on one side or two sides. So they, they are for a corner or for the side of the card. Obviously, you can get creative and then, then use multiples of these flowers uh, for all the corners, all the sides, you know what I mean. But I just wanted to go with the, with the design that... Um, the designer um, wanted it to look like, I think. Um, uh, you will see that it kind of, it, it's really straightforward because you place those things just one way. Um, so I'm just going to show you one card that I, how I put it together. The other card is going to look exactly the same. I just used slightly different colors. And what I did not use for these cards uh, were the um, the berries. I'm just going to create another card that will only feature the berries, just to give you a different idea with the um, with the die set. And I actually wanted to place that uh, vase the other way around. It, it looked because I actually have one like that. It looks like a huge um, glass. Um, I, I, I don't even remember what I have in, I think I have some Christmas decorations in mine. It's huge and it's exactly that shape, but then I saw the graphics and it was the other way around. So I now put it the, the way they meant, uh, meant it to be. So I had these, um, tags left over. I'm pretty. Well, actually, I wanted to say I'm pretty sure from my last cards, but I'm actually not sure. Um, but they were, oh no, I think um, they are from the the tags, the, the what were they called? Merry Mugs and some Circle Delights or so last month. And that's where I have those um, sentiments from. And I wanted to add that as a sub sentiment to fill up that space that's where the the berries normally are and uh, instead I'm I'm placing my sentiment there now I had some of these um, this striped background left and I did not want to waste it so I die cut uh, you from it and I'm using the negative piece just so I have more of the um, striped background visible and then um, I'm just, well, first of all, I wanted to fill up the whole background like I normally do, create some sort of pattern, but it just didn't, I don't know, I, I just couldn't figure it out. I, I didn't like it. And then um, once I had that sentiment that was more like a rectangle, so I needed a bit more space, um, I realized that I would just go around to create some sort of a, a frame. Um, and of course, <laughs> as well, this always happens. As I start uh, gluing things down, I'm completely going to shift what I um, originally uh, put down, and I'm, I now have an empty 
a rather empty corner there. And I don't like it. I also don't like it with the leaves, but I'm just going to add the leaf, uh, that part of leaf anyway. And then I'm just not going to look at it anymore <laughs> because it really didn't turn out great. But um, the, the idea, like uh, the, the execution, not so much. Anyway, it's another idea, you know, where you just use a different part of the die set. And what else did I do with this? Of course, I could not center it, uh, that panel, like you already know this. Um, so I had to trim down the card base a little bit. And then I'm adding my sentiment in the middle. And just to fill up those empty white spaces, um, I will add more white, um, but it's a different texture. So um, these enamel dots for me are the perfect finish for my card. I did think about adding colorful ones, but I don't know. Lately, I'm, I'm just super into white enamel dots, I think. Um, yeah, and then this card is ready. And in fact, um, all of my cards are done. This was a short video and the other one this month will also be short, but I hope I could give you some ideas. Um, so here is the one that I showed you how I created. And then I have a second one, just slightly different colors. I hope you like these cards. I hope you like uh, this month's kit. I think it's really fun and different and unique. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.